With long-term alcohol and drug abuse, the brain physically changes. The brain shrinks, actually shrinks, and its ability to process information is damaged. A part of the brain called the limbic system, which supports a variety of functions including emotion, behavior, motivation, long-term memory, and olfaction, is affected by heavy alcohol or drug abuse. When someone drinks or takes drugs, the limbic system emits dopamine, the substance that makes us feel good. With prolonged abuse, the brain stops making as much dopamine as it used to. As a result, the brain's reward system receives very little input and the person has a hard time experiencing pleasure of any kind. That's why many drug and alcohol abusers are no longer interested in the things that used to bring them joy. The frontal lobe of the brain also suffers. It shrinks and loses its ability to function properly. This part of the brain regulates decisions, choices, and the ability to know the difference between right and wrong. When the frontal lobe is not working as it should, you can't control the impulse to drink or take drugs. The amygdala is controlled by the frontal lobe and is the emotional center of the brain. Without proper control from the frontal lobe, the amygdala becomes oversensitive to stress. In this state, someone can have extreme mood swings and become trapped in a state of panic and worry. Because of this, many addicts and alcoholics are constantly fearful and rarely feel safe. The cellular structure of the brain is affected by heavy drinking and drug use as well. The gray cells control thinking and feeling, while the white cells provide the connection and communication between the gray cells. They're like network cables, passing information from one gray cell to another. Persistent drug and alcohol use kills the white cells in the brain. This severs the communication pathways so that information is not passed along properly. The brain can reroute these communication pathways using the remaining white cells, but it requires abstinence and time for this to happen. These negative effects that drugs and alcohol have on the brain are frightening. But there's good news. If someone can stop drinking and taking drugs completely, the brain begins to heal. Cognitive function and brain shrinkage can be reversed. New pathways in the brain can be forged and a person can return to normal brain function. If someone can learn to live without the drugs or alcohol, there is hope for full physical recovery.